Disappearing Act, billionaire developer Harry McClough claims his real estate holdings have shrunk in value from $548.9 million to just $23 million as he prepares to finalize his bitter divorce from his wife of 60 years. Billionaire real estate developer Harry McClough is not a magician, yet during his divorce trial he managed to make over half a billion dollars disappear. Although McClough's financial statements say he holds a portfolio of properties worth $548.9 million, he is now telling his soon-to-be ex-wife Linda's lawyers that he is really worth a measly $23 million. The McClough's are currently in the midst of an acrimonious divorce, according to page 6. The total amount of commercial real estate that you certified to the banks was $548.9 million and the position that you're taking in this lawsuit is that your total commercial real estate is worth $23 million, is that correct? Linda McClough's lawyer, John Tiller, asked Harry McClough in a Manhattan court on Wednesday. That's correct, he responded. In 2016. Harry McClough gave a statement of financial condition to banks so that he could obtain loans and lines of credit. The statement listed $548.9 million worth of assets, including the crown jewel in his portfolio, McClough's $440 million stake in 432 Park Avenue, the tallest residential building in the Western Hemisphere. In the statement, he also claims just $30 million in liabilities. Yet, in his divorce from Linda McClough, Harry McClough is claiming liabilities of $400 million, most of which is from deferred capital gains. The statement failed to mention his vast art collection, which is thought to be worth in excess of $1 billion. He also owns a condominium in the Plaza Hotel whose value is estimated to be at $100 million. As if that weren't enough, the couple owns a $41 million racing yacht and at two mansions in the Hamptons. The judge presiding over the divorce didn't seem surprised. It's not uncommon in matrimonial cases that a spouse says I have no money and yet shortly before the divorce action starts submits a statement to a landlord that says, Oh, yeah, I have plenty of money you should give me an apartment, Manhattan Supreme Court Judge Laura Drager said. Harry McClough, 80, informed his 79-year-old wife of 58 years, Linda McClough that he was leaving her for a younger woman, the blonde French mistress Patricia Landa. It marked the end of an era for one of New York City's most long-lasting and recognizable couples in the cutthroat world of real estate and Manhattan high society. As husband and wife each fight to keep their properties, paintings and playthings their divorce seems set to be just as ruthless as Harry McClough's business dealings. Linda's team has scoffed at attempts by her husband's lawyer to downplay his wealth saying that he's used accounting tricks to hide his true value. Landa, 62, is president of the French Friends of the Israel Museum in Jerusalem.